Elementary school. This is Mr. Napoli coming to you live from the Beehive. So, happy Monday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020, and I am coming to you live yet again from the live Yankee Beehive. So, boys and girls, parents, staff, as we do each day, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you. All right, here we are. So, we're gonna get right into the broadcast. We have Crazy Chris again coming to us live um, from his home in Willington. And he has the weather for us, and it's a little chilly today, as to why you could see my hat. And I'm going to explain my hats after Chris finishes his portion. Um, but it is Monday, we have weather, and we have a little bit of rain, I think, out there. So take it away, Chris, weather, and his joke for the day. Hi, it's Crazy Chris for a weather update on Monday, March 30th. Today's weather will be a chance of rain with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 35 degrees. And now today's joke for the day is... What three candies can be found in every school? Nerds, dum-dums, and smarties. Back to you, Mr. Nifty Napoli. All right, thank you, Chris, for that weather update and for the joke of the day. Appreciate it. So, boys and girls, lunch. I miss actually hearing about the lunches that we have at school every day. So um, I hope everyone's gonna have a very healthy breakfast today and a nice well-balanced breakfast and then midday have a nice lunch that i'm sure your parents will have for you so continue to eat well so you can be energized and do a lot of great learning because it's a full week five days this week all right we have a lot to cover here in our broadcast today birthdays there are no birthdays until sunday april 5th so there's one student in first grade in mrs kelly's class uh, i wonder if she's watching today she knows who she is uh, we will um, broadcast her birthday on Friday, April 3rd, and let her know that we are thinking of her for Sunday, weekend birthday, on April 5th. So if you know any students in Mrs. Kelly's class, think about who that kid might be. All right. For staff, um, yesterday on Sunday, March 29th, was Mrs. Hebert's birthday, our school social worker. So a big happy birthday to her. If you um, talk to her today or this week, um, any of her students... Or if you want to send her an email, wish her a happy birthday. And then tomorrow we have another staff member birthday. It's a classroom teacher. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. We have a lot of news today, a lot of exciting news. Um, so as you know, I've been going with Mr. Nifty Napoli, but let me first explain the hats. So I'm running out of hats, but I've been wearing these hats because I'm getting, the, I have the need for a haircut. So I'm looking for a virtual barber. If you can let me know who might be cutting hair out there on the internet, let me know so I can get a quick haircut because it is growing rather quickly. It's well over a month. But anyways, the hat. So last week we had hats and I've been continuing, but I am going to run out soon. So you will be seeing me without this soon like you would at school. Last Wednesday was my Aruba hat, which I love. Um, was there last year. Thursday was my Yukon hat because I like Yukon and I was um, enjoying that and thinking about sports. Friday, I wore my grandfather's hat. It was like a sun hat. He would wear that golfing. He loved to golf, so I kind of wore that in memory of him. And then today, my grandfather's brother, my great uncle Tony, went to Alabama, University of Alabama, Roll Tide for all the fans, and he played football there. So my father gave me this for Christmas, so that's why I kind of had this on. Plus, it's still a little chilly here in Connecticut. It's not going to get much past the 50s or low mid 40s today, so. Wear your hats and gloves when you're when it's still chilly. So, so in in reaching out to everyone last week, we have a number of suggestions for my name. We currently have Nifty Napoli, Mr. Nifty Napoli, but I have received requests for Napping Napoli, Nerdy Napoli, a newscaster from Juliana. We have Nutty Napoli that came up a few times, Nappy Napoli, um, Noble Napoli. Noteworthy Napoli and Nefarious Napoli. So we have quite a few um, choices. So I'm going to create 
a survey and send that out to the parents. And if you'd like to vote this week, um, it'll be probably a Google form or a um, survey monkey. Keep a lookout for that in your email. So thank you for all those. Oh, and Nacho, Na Nacho Napoli. I think that came in from Levi, from one of our third graders. So, or but yes, Levi's in third. So continue, no, fourth grade, sorry, Miss Nyers' class, sorry. Continue to bring in the names. I'm gonna do a survey very soon. Continuing our broadcast. I've been getting many emails from parents um, working with their children, doing a lot of artwork. Um, we had some physical activity. One boy um, and his father and brother outside sent to Mr. Phillips some zip lining in the backyard and some physical activity and exercise. Um, many pictures, uh, projects were sent in. So I have a couple assignments here that I want to share. And at some point, I'll be able to do this electronically through the news. But I have on paper here a project that Mrs. Swanson, our kindergarten teacher, one of our three kindergarten teachers, read a book to her class um, about boxes called Is It a Box? So her class was challenged to come up with some type of environment with a box. So um, Addison Kella shared with me this, this Friday or this weekend a picture of what she wanted to do with her box. And if you take a look here, it's really neat. Um, she made a school out of a box, all right? She added her teacher, student, her classmates, and she wanted a principal, me. I think that's me in the corner and then Miss Swanson. And I think right over here is Addison probably talking to me because every time I visit her classroom, she always had a great story for me or something she was learning about. So loves to learn. And also I think has a solar system and then a playground outside uh, and a solar system rug. So really cool, awesome. Thank you for that, Addison, for Mrs. Swanson's class. Also, I've got some great stuff from the Hood family. Really cool. I have a video of Abby and her sisters, her twin sisters, doing jumping jacks with us, with me on Friday, from the kitchen. All right, I have a great video of that, so it was very cute. And also, Abby submitted her war artwork to Miss Specter, um, the Animal Project. So how cool is this? There's Abby. Thank you, Abby. It was so great to see this. Um, she did something with a dragon, a duck, a tiger, and a lion. Such great artwork, guys. Keep up the great work and the creativity. Look at how happy she is. So really good stuff. So keep it coming. I know Ms. Spector has been asking parents, staff, teachers, paras, you name it, everyone, um, and students to, to um, share what you're grateful for. And we have, we did our, you know, the, the gratitude wall and we did our, our campaign for two weeks for Look for the Good and people are submitting those. So I promised I would share what I'm grateful for. And I'm grateful for many things. I can't just say one, but family, friends, my health with all that's going on and keeping ourselves safe from, from this virus. I'm very thankful for my, and gra grateful for my health and well-being, being able to walk and talk and run, all those great functions of life. But one that I'm really grateful for as well, in a good way, is technology. Without technology, I couldn't talk to you right now. I could not have had that second grade lunch punch last week. I couldn't talk to the teachers every day, and Mr. Mr. Um, Stevens and Mr. Craig and Ms. Uh, McGinley, um, our district administrators, into the parents and to get your technology up and running at home so you can work on different programs. So, Ms. Spector, I'm grateful for technology and I'll send you a picture of this today after the broadcast. So, keep these coming, guys. What are you grateful for, especially this time? Excellent. So, we talked about sp a one spirit day next week, but I'd like to extend that to a spirit week. We talked about um, on Friday doing a spirit day with like maybe our T-shirts. This is my Willington Road Race T-shirt from last um, Memorial Day weekend, in which I ran the 5K with a bunch of kids. So, Spirit Week. Here we go. Every day this week. So, here we have it. Monday. Today's Monday. Happy Monday. It is pajama day. So, I am dressed in my pajamas. Ready to go. I am going to dress comfortably today. And working from my house, okay, from this table or from the couch, Talking to teachers this morning, a big meeting this morning on our video conferencing using technology. So Monday, boys and girls, stay comfortable, work hard today, wear your pajamas, and it's a little cold out, so it's a comfortable Monday when you're reading, doing your work online, 
wear your pajamas, okay? Tuesday, favorite color day, all right? It could be your shirt, it could be your pants, it could be your socks, it could be a sweatshirt, whatever it is you wish to wear, wear your favorite color. Very simple stuff, okay? That would be Tuesday. Wednesday, I want it to be Team Spirit Day, so here's why. April 1st is Wednesday, and it's sports. And sports are not you know, currently happening, and April 1st is typically opening day for baseball. As you can see, this is a big Yankee household. So, wear your favorite gear. It, could, it doesn't have to be baseball. It'd be nice if it was, but it does not have to be. I know Roman is gonna wear his um, Green Bay gear, and other fans, I know Jeremiah's gonna have a Yankee shirt on maybe. Jeremiah Vanover, but anything you want. In memory, not in memory of, in, you know, to recognize the sporting world, and it should have been, we missed spring training a little bit, and now we're missing opening day of baseball. Um, would love to be a little bit on the Yankee Stadium, but everything's closed to, to keep everyone safe. So, Team Spirit Day on Wednesday. Wear your favorite team jersey, however you wish. And Wednesday, that's Wednesday, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to give this a try. Twin day from a distance. Pick a friend, a parent, a sister, a brother, a family member, grandparent, or even your pet. If you want to dress up your cat or dog, or maybe you have another animal at home, okay? Make it a twin day, okay? Um, if you want to see that friend, obviously you can't see them because we're we're keeping ourselves sep you know separated from friends right now. But there's all the technology, FaceTime, Zoom, Skype. Maybe just pick up the phone and have a phone call. It's maybe send an email or a message online to a friend. Okay? So twin day. If anyone would like to be my twin, I'm happy to try this. First family to email, first child to email, I'll be your twin. All right? Challenge is on. Go. All right. Friday, we don't know yet. But I'm up for anyone that has thoughts, but I'm thinking of ideas. So we have Monday through Thursday. Monday, pajamas. Okay? Um, let's see. Tuesday, we said was going to be favorite color. Wednesday, team spirit. Thursday, twin day. Twin day from a distance, okay? And Friday, we're going to determine, but we'll keep it simple. So, as you're doing this, whether it's your pajamas, your favorite color, twin day, team spirit day, send the pictures to me, to Miss Spectre, to Miss Redding, whomever. We're going to get all these pictures together in a collage and then come up with a nice video for everyone to see, okay, from a distance. So any families that want to appear on the news, any staff, um, I have some videos I have to upload from some former students. So we have a fifth grader that uploaded, that, that sent me a video doing some juggling, a juggling act. Um, anything you want to do, let me know. We're going to get to look for the good crew in this week through, for, through videoing to have them come up with some ideas. There are fourth grade leaders, um, so keep them coming. And then finally, Final piece of news, boys and girls, continue to work hard today. We have a full five-day week. Continue with your online learning, learning from home, with your reading, okay, using iReady, reading and math. Read some books, please. Find some books. You saw my read aloud. Keep reading. It's important. Um, use your splash math, extra math. Do some journal writing. Write some letters, okay? And don't forget the supplemental assignments from your teachers, Please check those and try those out. I came out with an email from Mr. Stevens. And the supplemental or the extra assignments from our special area teachers, okay? So, in a few minutes, once I'm out of here, it's time for you to get to work and work hard. Teachers and staff, if any special announcements or information you would like to share, families, teachers, and staff, please email me personally or Beehive News Live at willingtonct.org. As we do each morning, please join me in saying our character pledge together. At Center School, we are respectful, responsible, and caring. Do your best and be your best, and always be safe. Well, that wraps up our broadcast of Beehive News Live. For now, I'm Mr. Nifty Napoli. Have a motivating Monday. Stay comfortable in your pajamas today. See you soon, and stay safe, and have a great day.